Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze and today we are taking on the final two normal levels of Donkey Kong Island. Starting off with the Dynamite Dash. These levels in my professional onion, I mean opinion, are not too terrible. I kind of like them. I think they're actually designed extremely well. And yeah, essentially this one is all based around that good old TNT Dynamite. And we're going to have to traverse the level while being extremely careful and apparently oh gosh dang I still have <laughs> I still have good old cranky Kong at my side which isn't really the biggest thing in the world I'm not a total fan of it but it will be probably a small inconvenience at some points but hey it's all right we gotta respect our elders we might as well use the old guy and you know one of the last levels so. yeah we're getting pretty close <laughs> it's almost the end guys I don't want this to end I don't want the fun to end dude so sad, so sad, but all the good things must come to an end. Don't be upset because things are over. Be happy because they happen. I think that was a quote from... I was thinking, not Jim Hansen, <laughs> Dr. Seuss. I think. I want to say, I'm going to feel really stupid. That's from, like, George Lucas or something, but... It's whatever, it's whatever. I've always kept that mentality uh, pretty, pretty to heart. I kind of like to use that quote from time to time. And it's pretty, it's a good quote for talking about LPs, because eventually LPs are going to end. I mean, the game's fun, but no LP should ever last for you. You know what I mean? Anyways, turns out Cranky Kong's dead. Now we have to do this section of the level, which I'm not a total fan of, but it's all right. We're going to do it no problemo. As the kids from Rocket Power would say, and I don't know why I'm sticking to talking about Rocket Power, we're playing, well, I guess Rockets and Dynamite are kind of similar. You really don't think about it at all. <laughs> Maybe. Anyways, this section, uh, I've kind of gotten used to the whole vine mechanics. I remember very early on in the LP, I sort of complained about them a lot. I don't really know why I did that, because they're really not that bad. I guess I was just out of practice in my Donkey Kong prowess after all. And I was just blaming the game for being a total noob. But it's whatever. This section can be kind of rough. You basically just have to keep going and just follow this one fuse that's constantly blowing the level up. I think that's a very cool um, concept. That's definitely my favorite part of level. Although this part is actually really stinking scary and I'm very prone to die on it because of one maneuver in particular that we're gonna have to do right up here. And okay, you gotta jump off that owl. And that is how you do that. Be very careful though to get this G, just hold down the grab button. And you'll get it pretty much every time. Pretty darn easy. And we'll just have to get one last jump. And there we go. Dynamite dash. We finished it 100% and got all that there is to do. Excluding the puzzle pieces. And we even got the GK thing. And we're going to get 11 banana coins. Ha diggity dang. That was one awesome level. And uh, yeah, now on to the second level. The reason I'm so upset is because we're almost at the end. And I know, I just know that it's going to be a pretty long time since we see another Donkey Kong game. I don't know, maybe it's just my intuition, so I'm very sad to see this game go, but we gotta be positive, Icicle Arsenal is our last normal level. And alright, here we go, this is the last level, let's make a good impression and try and defeat it easily. I don't know, Dynamite Dash, did it really not have a, uh, what's it called, a uh, barrel in it? That's kind of odd, didn't have a tag barrel, interesting. Hello. It does not matter, because there's actually one in here, and it's pretty easy to find, so I don't, I don't think. I think we'll be okay. This level, at first, I had a lot of problems with it. I was just like, I don't understand. How do you do these things? Like, how do you not get hit right there? All you gotta do is pound the little dude, and you begin. And let's get Dixie, because Dixie is a very, a very nice to have. And, uh, 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 there we go. We're going to hang on to that part of the level. Okay, as well, that's pretty nice. And, we should do that. Be careful right up here, though, because you want that O. you got to be a little patient. That always messed me up, because, as you know, I'm not the most patient dude in the world. And the rest of the level, in my opinion, isn't nearly... I don't know. There's harder things in this game. The rest of the level isn't as bad, and I just got hit there, and that's kind of contradictory to what I was just saying. But The icicles are really your only enemy here. The rest of the level is honestly quite tame. We're going to use Dixie Kong. And get up there. I believe there is a heart in here. No, just one single banana. That's all right. Let's pound on this. Oh, it didn't go anywhere. Well, that is actually very upsetting, but I'll have to live with it, I suppose. Let's grab on this, and I think there might have been a heart in there, but it matters not since we can clear this level. 
Without need, we don't need your stinking health. Be very careful here, though, because you can bounce into these boxes, and that'll knock you back a tiny bit. No, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Gotta be careful there, because that uh, part of the level is gonna crash on you, your little Kong head, and you don't want that. Nobody wants that, man. Come on. Man. Oh, gosh, I'm taking a lot of damage. Jump on this dude and just get out of here. Oh, gosh. I'm gonna make it to the next checkpoint if I can. Awesome. So I may die here, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Actually, no, there's a piece of heart coming up, and no, we're not talking about the Zelda ones. Talking about Donkey Kong, if you haven't noticed by the multiple episodes titled Donkey Kong, this is just not, in fact, a episode of The Legend of Zelda. Puzzle piece right there, but we're just going to ignore it. Like that girl at high school who just want us. You, you, want, you want her to like you, but she only likes the mean dudes, so you'd be mean to her. I, that, that has never occurred to me once in real life. I've never met a girl that was just like, I only like mean dudes. It's like, okay. I think that's always been a, um, just something the media has made up and put into movies. I don't know. I've never honestly encountered that. A lot of girls I speak to are a lot smarter than that, but hey, whatever. Why am I talking about girls in high school? I don't know. Because we're here to play Donkey Kong. Yes, we are. And that is the last level of this beautiful, beautiful game. <laughs> it's all over. <sighs> However, there is still one more obstacle left for us to take on. We have to take on the final boss of DK Island. And also, hey, we got the temple since we got all the Kong letters. Pretty nice. But yes, the time has finally come. It's time to defeat the leader of the Snowmats in the Volcano Dome, their domain. Now, this boss battle is no easy feat. I highly recommend... Well, just to bring Diddy, I don't know, for whatever reason. I think Diddy Kong is pretty much the definitive best member to have here. And yeah, this place is looking pretty frozen. Oh man, this room actually looks pretty darn cool. But I'm not fooling around. It's time that we head inside this door and take on the boss of the Snowmads. And alright guys, this is it! It's time to battle the King of the Snowmads himself in the center of a volcano. Pretty epic place to have a battle, don't you think? <laughs> but enough laughing, this is a seriously insanely difficult boss, which I totally hate to go up against. He rivals the uh, final boss of D Donkey Kong Country 2, which in my opinion was the hardest Donkey Kong Country final boss, but this guy's a ton harder for a variety of reasons. First off, one of the main ways we'll be damaging him is like that. Not the easiest thing to do in the world. It's actually extremely difficult, but eh, it's whatever, we did it. Next next way you're going to be doing damage to him is literally jumping on his butt. Blech. Which can be kind of hard, but eh, I don't know, it seems we're, we're doing it decently easy with uh, Diddy Kong. I highly recommend Diddy Kong for a variety of reasons, which we're getting into later once we see the rest of his attacks, and I'll be right back. My cat even wants to erupt me in the final battle of this game. Why does my cat hate my video so much? I have no sneaking out of here. But regardless, his next attack, the Snowmad King is going to shoot ice dragons into the arena, and it's going to make the platforms become icy and difficult to maneuver on. Trick to dodging this attack, he will never shoot two ice dragons on the same square right next to each other, so just jump from one and then back to the other. Pretty stinking easy. Next, he's going to start shooting bunnies out of his tuba, I want to say. I don't know, it's going to... It's kind of like a horn, I guess. Anyways, the rabbits function just like the penguins. Just chuck them, and there you go. There's some damage. And he's going to come back into the arena. The tip, the best tip I can give you is don't aim for his head. Aim for his butt. Like the back of his butt, kind of like his lower back, is where you're going to be hitting him and inflicting damage in this phase. And I really did not get him with it there. and almost ran off the edge. That would have been sinking bad, but all right. We're just uh, keeping a calm head. We're trying... Sorry, I can't commentate. This crap is hard, dude. This is not an easy boss fight, especially solo. It's pretty stinking rough, anyways. 
keep shooting these ice dragons at us. Uh, it's kind of annoying and very frustrating because it's going to make the platforms just icy and not very nice to navigate on because it's annoying. Hello, anyways. More projectiles are going to be launched very slowly, my I add, out of the ground. And then we're going to just have to chuck them at the snowman game, which I feel bad because I don't actually know his name because, well, I can try to stay, like, spoiler-free for this game. And wow, that was actually a pretty good shot. You don't always have to wait for him to pause. Sometimes he'll go back into your shot, which is very nice, but it doesn't always happen. Yes, I'll hurt. Gotta get it. Gotta get it. Oh, yes. Okay. There we go. Ugh. He will drop hearts pretty often, but it's just the fact if you can keep Diddy Kong. And this is why you actually want Diddy Kong in this boss battle. Hanging in the air and waiting for those platforms to come back down is so good. It makes this boss fight so much more bearable. And I can't recommend him enough. Turns out Diddy Kong... Even though didn't really use them all that much, it's gonna help us out in the final battle as our greatest ally. Anyways, more dragons are gonna careen into the arena, which always is a fun word to say, careen. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but we have to persevere and keep our wits about us because the annoying thing about this whole, like, you know, the projectiles coming down part is the bunnies and you're on the slippery section. The bunnies will sometimes do like a really high jump and you won't be expecting it, and then jump into them. Okay, scratch your eye, idiot. Haha, <laughs> owned you. And we're gonna do some more damage. It's a shame you can't actually hold on to the bunnies or the projectiles when they're, you know, in the arena. And I do not want to be that close to them, oh gosh. Because then you could do more damage to them. And, oh no, we got hit. But it's okay, we have still three more hearts left, so we should still be okay. The best part is I just want to hang on to Diddy for as long as I can. Okay, looks like the one in the center. So the last one to come up. You basically just want to stay on the the platform for as long as you can, and then just jump to the one of the ones that fell down in the beginning. And oh, Nelly! This is his most scary attack. He's gonna shoot dragons this time horizontally. Yes, yeah, very threatening. Just jump and duck as needed. And oh, yes, yes, yes! Come on, get it, get it, get it, get. It. Well, that's definitely not what I wanted to do. Oh gosh. So we lost Diddy. That's bad. That's really bad. I don't really think I can do this now, but we'll see. Is this still going to shoot more dragons? It's kind of just, I don't know, that's really his easiest attack. It's just annoying because he keeps laughing about it. It's like, dude, it's not even that funny. They're just stinking dragons hitting the ground. But Whatever, I digress. We have to... Oh my gosh, I'm talking so fast. I just want to really, really beat this boss. <laughs> it is extremely annoying. Okay. Just shooting these dudes down and... Okay. I'm gonna pick one up. All right. I... What? I do not want to get hit by that rabbit, because I'll be really bad, because then I'll definitely have one HP left, and that is like a one in a million shot. Holy crap. Now, if you are playing this co-op, you can potentially shoot two rabbits at him, which makes things a lot easier, but it's not the end of the world. And okay, that's one good shot. Come on. Can we... Okay, no, I didn't want to be that close at all. The trick here is just to get damage off on him, and oh boy, here we go again. So this time I have to do this without Diddy, which... Eh, it's not gonna be easy. Well, luckily, I actually was on the side with the longest up in the air platform, and I don't know why he's still laughing. I'm already on the ground. And okay, now his dragons are gonna get a lot faster. You do not want to take damage here because that is very bad, and we just. Uh, why did I go closer? Dump, dude! Oh my gosh. No, we can do it. Come on. Come on. That, that was it? <laughs> well, that was very anticlimactic. And now that the Snowmads have been thoroughly defeated, dang, how hard we punched that guy, goodness. Destroyed his entire ship, just with one fist. Donkey Kong is insanely powerful, <laughs> and wow. Just send him home packing. That's the last time they'll probably mess with us. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> blew up his entire Omada too, dang. Yes, they are now extinct forever, and <gasps> we got his magically size increasing instruments cool what flowers are shooting out of the horn awesome and apparently we are supposed to ride on them I guess this is like a metaphor for spring I don't know maybe but whatever the flowers are gonna go and fly around all of DK Island and make uh, things less cold so that's definitely cool with me and yeah we did it we saved the day yeah. <laughs> but we're not done since we have to play one heck of a musical score with our brand new horn with all of our buddies. 
And that's it, guys. That's Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze in a nutshell. We defeated the Snowmad King and all of his minions and freed all of the islands from their reign. Guys, this game is more than amazing. It's more than awesome. The only way to describe it is Derpalicious because Donkey Kong's overbite makes this game amazing because it's in 1080p. And I realize I used the word amazing to describe a word, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. This game is great, and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching me, well, basically nerd out and explain, okay, so this is why, this is the easiest way to get the K, and... <laughs> no, it was never really that bad, but I don't know, I just like to make fun of myself. I realize I kind of take my Donkey Kong games a little too seriously at times, but to be fair, they are pretty difficult to clear, and in my opinion, this game is a lot harder than Donkey Kong Country Returns. I realize there's not really as many Rocket Barrel levels and stuff like that, but... And they were pretty leaning on the uh, minecart levels too, I guess. But I don't know, this just what felt way harder for some reason. I don't know. Granted, I, I didn't even use like the harder partner Kongs. Could have used Cranky Kong if I wanted a real challenge, but no, I wussed out. And used Dixie. Despite that though, I think this game was like stinking hard. Boss fights were a whole heck of a lot better than Returns. The animal buddies, well, there's still only Rambi, but. Dixie and Cranky Kong, I seriously hope they come back in future installments because tr controlling them is really good. It gives you a different pace and a different feel. And I really like that. The Kong powers were a cool addition, but I didn't really feel like they were used all that great. But, uh, new power-ups, also really stinking cool. Everything about this game, amazing. A 100% improvement from Donkey Kong Country Returns, and I am seriously glad that I bought a Wii U. If you haven't bought a Wii U yet and this game looked even remotely fun to you, I encourage you to pick one up. There are tons of great games coming out for the system, and I, I, I'm glad I got it. I, in the beginning, I was like, oh, I wasted so much money on this, but now I'm like, this might seriously be my favorite system. Like, oh my gosh. The, Wii, the interface, the games, the graphics, the feel, the music quality, everything. This, this is just a stinking awesome game, guys. <laughs> I mean, look at that. He was like, hey. <laughs> It looks pretty funny. The level designs, the different islands, the enemy. Look at that enemy! It's stinking cool looking, dude! Oh my gosh. I just love this game to death, guys. And I see you. I, I don't know. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough half as much as I enjoyed it. Dang, this song is groovy, dog! <laughs> could I sound any more whites? I don't know if I could, but that was probably my best bet, and man. All the homages and everything, and all the little Easter eggs. I don't know, dude. The secret exits, in my opinion, though, I don't know. I kind of liked the whole key system. I thought that was a little better. That's probably one thing I liked more in the, the Wii version. But, hey, you know, maybe some people thought that was cool. Some people like finding secrets like that. Personally, I could have done without it, but that's just my opinion. And man. You know, I was sad to see this game go in the beginning of this episode, but I don't know. I think it has its own rightful spot in my library of favorite games. It's not like it's going anywhere. I can just start over and play through it again. It also has a lot of replay value. <laughs> I love how my credit sequences have turned into just a little mini review, but yeah, that's the game, guys. It's, you couldn't tell. I kind of like it a tiny little bit trying to recommend it to you. You don't have to pay it. You could just watch the LP. I'm fine with that too, but watching it and playing it do completely different things. Anyways, guys, I just want to thank you all seriously so much for all the support over the years. You've made playing through these games just awesome. That's the only way I can say it. And I'll see you guys. What? Before I do my outro, there's a present. Ooh, something tells me we're not done yet. Indeed we're not, because in the next episode of Let's Play Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, we're heading to the temples. So see you guys then. Bye.